What you're seeing here on the screen is going to be the list of all of my deals that I currently have access to or deals that I have created myself. So I'm going to go ahead and actually click into one of those deals and I will show you exactly what we're talking about here. Okay. To begin, we have that checklist. So right now, what we hear from attorneys is the checklist is either in a Microsoft Word document or an Excel spreadsheet, and that's okay. But what we're asking folks to do is take what you're currently doing, take what you're currently working on, and then bring that over to closing folders. And it's very easy to do. We have an importer agenda wizard that'll help accomplish that. And this is what you're going to get, right? So you're going to get your current checklist, but you're going to have that loaded into closing folders. And this is what we would see as we go throughout the process. Okay. The checklist itself, it's fully editable. Um, as we've seen, and as a lot of attorneys know, even this checklist is heavily negotiated. So there is a lot of flexibility built in. So this can really meet the needs of you, meet the needs of your client, and specifically the needs of the individual deal that you're going to be working on. If I click into one of these items, so right here, the share purchase agreement, I get some information, right? I can see that I've already uploaded a version one here. I actually started out for our demonstration purposes to show you what it looks like. And I have that in here because I really do want to focus on this item right here. And this is the integration between closing folders and iManage work. So we're really lucky closing folders is to be a part of the iManage family. And part of that partnership gives us the ability, gives the attorney the ability to really monitor and track what they are putting into this specific checklist. And so what I see here is, yes, I have a version one of the document locate loaded into the checklist. However, that share purchase agreement does not actually match what is living within my firm's DMS. So what I have currently in the works and this gives me the ability with this blue dot to say hey what you have on your checklist is not actually the most recent and up-to-date version of the document that you've been working on and it gives you that awareness and then it gives you the ability to actually upload and say hey i want whatever is the latest version to be accurately reflected here on the checklist and i think that's a really important feature and it's really helpful when attorneys are having versions go back and forth back and forth Closing folders is really letting you know, hey, you have the most up-to-date version that you want for your checklist.